Bookmap 6.0 offers several new and powerful features. Many of these new features were requested directly from you, our user base. Let's take a look. Right off the bat, you'll notice an overall significant improvement in stability and processing speed because Bookmap now supports 64-bit processing. Bookmap Advanced users now have the ability to activate Bookmap on another PC in replay mode while still connected to the live markets on your primary PC, all at no additional cost. This is a great new feature that allows you to test strategies and study the market with recorded data, and most importantly, to debrief your previous trading session while still engaged with your current live trading. An important new feature in Bookmap 6 is the correlation tracker. Now you can add multiple correlated markets to a specific instrument in Bookmap. For example, suppose you are trading the S&P E-mini, but want to know what the NASDAQ E-mini is doing as well. Click on the Studies Configuration button, and then on Correlation Tracker. Next, let's enable it for the ES. Have price calculated on the mid price, and now add a correlated instrument. Select from the drop-down the specific instrument you'd like to overlay on the chart. Note that you'll need to already have that overlaid instrument open in Bookmap in order for it to be available in the drop-down. Just for this demo, let's choose the NASDAQ E-mini. Once added, you can change the color and line type here. Let's add another correlated instrument as well. We'll select the bonds. We'll change the color and line type and close this window. Note how zooming in and out changes the correlated scaling of the instrument as it adjusts to the new data within the viewable chart range. To fit the correlation within the window, you may need to adjust your vertical zoom by hovering your mouse over the data columns, left clicking and holding, and moving your mouse up and down. Let's open the correlation configuration window again and go over the reference points settings. The correlation reference point is always calculated from the left edge of your chart range view. However, you can also reset the value to have the correlation calculated within a specific time frame. For example, let's choose 15 minutes from the drop-down. Note how the correlation is recalculated every 15 minutes, and then it resets. The correlation tracker is a powerful new feature that allows you further insight to finding price movement discrepancies between related markets. The Bookmap 6.0 basic package now allows users to watch their live orders. So if you place orders in another platform, those orders will be displayed within Bookmap. I'm currently in replay mode, so I'll demo this by using the one-click trading add-on. Suppose you place a few limit orders in another platform. It'll appear like this in Bookmap. Any edits, fills, or cancellations of those orders in the other platform will also be reflected in Bookmap. But please note, if you want to trade from the Bookmap chart as I am doing, you'll need the Bookmap Advanced package. Let's cancel these orders and close the trade control panel for now. A highly requested feature in Bookmap is to display candlesticks on the historical chart to give reference to the unique features in Bookmap. You can configure the candles under the Studies Configuration tool, check the box, and click on the candlesticks. Here you'll find the settings to change the width and time interval here. You can also quickly toggle the on-off display of the candlesticks under the Configure Visible Components button on the toolbar. Now you can precisely reference the candlesticks with your traded volume, just like a footprint chart. And you can clearly see how the historical liquidity relates to your candlestick patterns. This is a great new feature based on our customer feedback. 
it allows you to truly see the composition of the candle. Note how the current candle is being built in real time. If you prefer the old look and feel of Bookmap, simply uncheck the candlestick feature in the Studies Configuration tool. Another highly requested feature is the addition of the Time and Sales window. To access it, insert a new column and then select Time and Sales. You can view it in the columns or detach it out into a separate window. Clicking on the arrow will show or hide the various settings here. You can export the data into a separate CSV file and filter the minimum or maximum size as well as display all, only buy transactions, or only sell transactions. Soon, Time and Sales will include a new and unique bookmap feature that may surprise even the most advanced traders, so stay tuned. On the Automatic Contrast Configuration button, there is now the option to display the black cutoff on the toolbar. Check the box here, and the slider appears on the toolbar, allowing for quick access to adjust the heat map. Let's go over a new feature for resetting the data columns. Resetting the columns by a specific time or interval has been available in previous bookmap versions. However, in bookmap 6.0, you can now add a conditional reset that is based on time and price changes. This lets you see the last traded volume at each price level. Once selected, it'll continue to aggregate the last traded volume even if price has a quick move and return back to the same level within 1000 to 5000 milliseconds. Also, a quick way to reset was added. If selected, every double click will reset this column. Double clicking above the best ask will reset the ask and double clicking below the best bid will reset the bid. Under the Studies Configuration tool, there have been many new enhancements to the Cumulative Volume Delta add-on indicator. You'll notice that you can check this box so all indicators use the same y-axis scaling. This allows better understanding of the relationship between multiple plotted values. A major improvement with the CVD in version 6 is the ability to set a chart range view for the CVD. This offers the ability to display the current viewable CVD period instead of it being diluted for the entire session. In this view you can zoom in and out to change the time range and you can also compare filtered and non-filtered CVDs in the same time range. Another new feature is the ability to split the aggressor buyers and sellers to see which type of volume is more active. Different colors can be adjusted to reflect the aggressor. For example, use green for buyers and red for sellers. You can then access these new features from the Studies Configuration tool or by clicking on the Configuration tool in the CVD widget panel. Make sure both the CVD and widget panel are displayed. Then you can right click on the CVD specific widget to move it to the right or left, choose the widget style, reset it now, change the indicator range, or access the setting configuration tool. A few new voice alerts were added to version 6. More alerts will be added soon. Note these dynamic alerts can be edited to give the message you want to hear. For example, under the Studies Configuration tool, in the Large Trades Alert, change dollar sign instrument name to ES 
and remove the dollar sign side. Next, let's filter the minimum trade size to 50. Now the automatic synthesized output result will be ES54 for a transaction that occurred for the volume of 54. Bookmap Advanced Version subscribers will enjoy new enhancements to the Iceberg Detector. Located under the Studies Configuration tool, you can now see icebergs display on the historical chart as well as the COB column. This is a powerful new feature that allows you to see the exact positions where larger players are setting their iceberg orders. You can also set voice alerts to sound off when an iceberg is discovered in that specific trading instrument and filter the voice alert based on the minimum size of the iceberg. Please note that the iceberg detection is related to your data provider and different data providers may produce different results. A new notes column is now available in Bookmap 6. Let's right click in the columns and insert a new column. Now let's select notes. There are now two options, our usual custom notes and the new cloud notes option. Let's select cloud notes and then right click again to change the settings. Cloud notes allows you to download notes from an online source. Input your URL here. Therefore you can make changes with your online CSV file and they will be updated automatically based on the interval time of your choice. As you can see there are many new changes in Bookmap 6.0. We've listened closely to our users and take pride in delivering upon your requests. So let us know of any other changes you'd like to see in Bookmap. Thanks for your feedback. We truly appreciate it.